Okay, my dears, we have one more left. And that is the feel have template. So you can separate these. So you can separate the meaning. You can have a feel template and like, or a feel ad copy and a have ad copy, but I just combine them because sometimes they feel so similar, right? So basically what you're talking about is what does your client currently have or what do they currently feel? So what does your audience currently feel or have in relation to their current state or what they want, right? And you can think of this type of copy as talking about what they actually, what they want. Like, what is it that your audience truly desires? So this is like all about the wants. This is all about the desires. This is all about you kind of going in like deeply on appealing to their desires. So we will go on over to that. And okay, so you're gonna open with what's your customer currently feeling or what do they currently have that they would like to change? And this could be a physical situation or a mental situation. This could be emotional. This could be a physical item, right? Or it could be uh, like an intangible item, right? Um, like peace. <laughs> peace is very in intangible. Like you can't touch it, but it's, it's definitely, it's very real. So, you know, like, you want to make sure that you are speaking to those things that they truly desire. You're going to mention their objections when it comes to fixing or dealing with the problem or when it comes to getting to their goal. Okay. Then you are going to future pace again, which means paint the beautiful picture that's going to get them to their ideal goal. Right. Um, or that what their life can actually look like. And then you're going to present a general general solution and then present your solution. So this specifically, by the way, you don't have to do both, right? You can future pace, then present your solution, or you can future pace, present a solution, and then present your solution, right? And then you're gonna do your call to action, okay? So this one, because again, I am an ads person, I do funnels, I, I, I automate, I wanna make sure that we are being effective and efficient, right? So that is my thing. <laughs> so I'm talking about here, ads are scary. And oh, by the way, the reason why there are pumpkins and ghosts, as I'm sure you can guess, this was, I ran these ads during October. So this was very Halloween themed. So <laughs> I said, ads are scary. I'm afraid to set them up wrong. I've tried ads before and they didn't work. These are in quotation marks because my ideal audience has said these things to me before and they say them all the time. So I just use their words. By the way, when you properly interview your audience, when you properly do the research, when you know who your audience is, you can literally take their words and throw them in your ad copy and when I say ad copywriting turns a little bit fun when you do this because it cuts down on your thinking time and it, things start to flow, right? Um, also, a point that I'm going to put up at the top because, again, I am long-winded is just brain dump. Just start writing. Please do not worry about punctuation. Don't worry about the thing, like the order. Cause sometimes I start typing and then I have to stop because my brain, there was like a roadblock there, like a brick wall. And then like, I go down to another section and, and like start writing. It's like my brain will start, but then it skips a section because my brain's going so fast. And I start, I start writing in my head. So I have to just start typing what I'm thinking and then come back and fill in the gaps. And that's okay. Just whatever works for you. Okay. I like, please do not put too much pressure on yourself. Um, it'll be okay. And plus you have me. So when you're done writing your copy, or if, even if you're stuck, if you're stuck, please tag me and I will, we can work through this. Okay. So anyway, 
Um, I say if I had a pumpkin spice latte for every time I heard one of these phrases, good Lord. Okay. I don't drink pumpkin spice lattes, but I know that my audience does. So that's why I put that there. Um, and then I jump into mind you, I did not present a general solution. I jumped right into mine. Okay. Um, and that's also because this ad copy is short for, it's short for me. (laughs) Right. Okay. So I talk about absolutely ads. I talk about, um, this isn't really future pacing, but this is kind of just showing them. You don't have to sink a bunch of money into it. Um, you aren't going to waste your money. Um, you don't need to be a marketing whiz. Okay. I'm, I'm handling objections there. Right. Um, and then I say, you can grow your audience and this is the future pacing part. And then I say, learn how to automate your visibility. So actually I did use all of these, but I kind of did them in a different order, which is fine. Um, if this sounds too good to be true, it's time you face, face your fear of being tricked so that you can get all the treats. Um, again, Halloween. Okay. And, and I, I like to put my personality in my copy. And if you are afraid to do this, it's okay. You can do this when you get a little bit more comfortable. Okay. I know it can be a little bit of pressure to say, oh my gosh, I have to write this copy and I have to be funny and I have to add my personality into it. No, you don't. You just have to speak to your audience and just have a conversation. Okay. It's okay. Um, but I just wanted to add that cause I am a little bit jolly. So, <laughs> um, and then I have my call to action. And so this is the second, um, have a, uh, feel have template. Okay. Did you hear it? The unceasing ding from your PayPal notifying you of yet another sale all while you are binging Netflix. And again, my audience wants passive income. They want, they actually want that sleep income where they wake up and they've got multiple notifications of notifications of money made. And I say, cause I actually do say my dear, I tell, I call people my dear, um, my dear, you've created your business. You created your business to be able to make money from anywhere not work from everywhere. I'm not interested in taking my laptop to, laptop to the beach. I'm not interested in, in interrupting my Netflix and chill night with babe to post a reel. I'm not interested in missing out on life because I need to post, go live, or do all of the social media things. I'm being very honest here. And if you have known me for any amount of time, you know, I, I, I'm just not here for social, um, for organic marketing, just because it takes too long. (laughs) <laughs> it's very necessary. So don't think you can skip it, but it is a necessary thing that you need to do, but just be very strategic about it anyway. Um, and I say, I know you aren't either. I know they're not interested in that, especially when there's a better way you've been wanting to use that to grow your business, but you might be scared. They look confusing. You may have, um, open your ad manager up and close it back out. Um, and I say, you're what I classify as a tried before and quitter. Um, and I say no shame because ads can be hella confusing and frustrating and frustrating when you, um, are doing them on your own. So I let them know that I understand where they're coming from. I, I totally get it. And then I jump into my solution and I tell them who I created this for the people who want to be fully present in the moments of their lives. Um, those who don't want to choose between, um, work and something that fills their soul. And they honestly want to work less and make more money while experiencing true freedom. And I call that a life full of luxury. And that feels like a life full of leisure (laughs) and void of unnecessary labor. Um, That is something that's very important to me and to my audience. So whether you want to see PayPal notifications from your courses being sold or a new application from your program, it's absolutely possible with ads. Um, And then I go into what my ads course does. And then I have my call to action. 